it's true, but where are you? Only you can quench the fire. Where are you? Stop that! Stop it! Stop it! Stop all that singing! Stop it! Look, one day, lad, all this will be yours. What, the curtains? No, not the curtains, lad. All that you can see stretched out over the hills and valleys of this land. This'll be your kingdom, lad. But mother. Father, lad, father. <laughs> but father, I don't want any of that. I'd rather. Rather what? I'd rather just sing. Where are you? Stop it, stop it. You're not doing a song while I'm here. Now listen, in 20 minutes, you're getting married to a girl whose father owns the biggest tracts of open land in Britain. But I don't want land. Listen, Alice. Herbert. Herbert, we live in a bloody swamp. We have to sell mud for a living. We need all the land we can get. But I don't like her. Don't like her? What's wrong with her? She's beautiful. She's rich. She's got huge tracts of land. I know. But I want the person I marry to have a certain, special, something. And another hundred people just contracted the plague and fell into the swamp. Cut that and out. another hundred cut people. It, cut it. Herbert! You're marrying Princess Lucky, so you better get used to the idea. Gods! Make sure the prince doesn't leave this room until I come and get him. Not to leave the room even if you come and get him. No, no, until I come and get him. Until you come and get him, we're not to enter the room. No, you stay in the room and make sure he doesn't leave. And you'll come and get him. That's right. We don't need to do anything apart from just stop him entering the room. Leaving the room. Leaving the room, yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, 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 uh, can he leave the room with us? No, no, it's simple. Just keep him in here and make sure... Oh, yes, we'll keep him in here, obviously. But if he had to leave and we were with him... No, just keep him in here. Until you or anyone else... No, not anyone else, just me. Just you. Get back. Get back. Right? Right, we'll stay here until you get back. And make sure he doesn't leave. What? <laughs> make sure he doesn't leave. The prince? Yes, make sure he doesn't leave the oh, room. Oh, yes, <laughs> of course. I thought you meant him. You know, it seemed to be daft me having to guard him when he's a guard. <laughs> Is that clear? Oh, yes, quite clear. No problems. Where are you going? We're coming with you. No! <laughs> I want you to stay here and make sure he doesn't leave. Oh, I see. Right. But, Father... Shut your noise, you, and get that suit on. Whoa. And no singing! Get a glass of water. Ah, now you're not to leave the room until. Oh, fair one, behold your humble servant, Sir Lancelot from the court of Camelot. I have come to take you away. Oh, my God, I'm terribly sorry. You got my nose. Uh, well, I got a note. You've come to rescue me. Oh, no, no, you see, I hadn't realised. I knew that someone would come. I knew that somewhere out there there must be. Here are you, here are you, here are you, Sir Lancelot. Stop that! Stop it! Who are you? I'm your son. Not you! I'm Sir Lancelot, sir, from the court of Camelot. He's come to rescue me, father. Well, now, let's not jump to conclusions. <laughs> Say, these are lovely curtains. Aren't they? Oh, they're wonderful. Wherever did you find them? Well, there's a little chap with a stock of adorable fabrics. Excuse me. Did you kill those guards? Uh, yes. I'm very sorry, but I can explain everything. Don't be afraid of him, Sir Lancelot. I've got a rope here already. You killed eight wedding guests. Ah, uh, see, well, the thing is, sir, I thought your son here was a lady. I can understand that. <laughs> Hurry, brave Sir Lancelot. You killed the bride's father. Oh, dear. Oh, no, I, I really didn't mean to. Didn't I didn't mean to. You put your...
put your sword right through his head. Gosh. Is he all right? <laughs> you kicked the bride in the chest. Oh, well, no, she was asking for it, sir, wearing white and crying. And... But, but this is going to cost me a fortune. I am ready, Sir Lancelot. I am ready. Ah! Would you like to come have a drink? I say, sir, was that entirely necessary? I do believe you just killed that poor little fellow. Oh, let's not bicker and argue about who killed who. <laughs> After all, I am a recently bereaved father who has just lost his son. My boy Herbert, who has just fallen tragically to his death. I'm not quite dead. Herbert! <laughs> I'm feeling much better. You fell from the tall tower, you creep! No, I was saved at the last minute. How? Well, I'll tell you. No, not like that. Stop it. I'm going to tell. He's going to tell. Stop it. I'm going to tell. He's going to tell. I'm going to tell. He's going to tell. I'm going to tell. All right, I'll make you stop it. Leave him alone. This poor little chap is your son, sir. All he ever wanted was a little love and affection, but did you ever give it to him? No, no, I'll wager you denied him. You tried to kill him? And worse, worse, you tried to marry him off to some girl, some, some female who he obviously has no feelings for whatsoever. Yes. Yes, I know a little bit about bullying fathers. You bastard! <laughs> Have you no heart? Have you no human tenderness? Can't you see that all he's asking for is just a little bit of love and understanding? Is that too much to ask? Is it too much? To ask? My God, you're gay. <laughs> Lancelot, you might as well just fess up. Really, you're a different sort of guy. Move aside your scabbard, for underneath your tabard, there is waiting to escape a butterfly. <laughs> Pumping at the gym at the Camelot 